met uh, with President Knututa today and you were going to meet the uh, uh, Speaker of the Parliament. What is the most important message you want to send to today? Well, we want to say thank you. Thank you to the people of Poland. Thank you to the government of Poland for the generosity of spirit and the commitment to security and democracy. Uh, we have a very distinguished delegation with us, and we've talked about humanitarian assistance, security assistance, as well as economic assistance to uh, the region. Is the Poland asking for more uh, NATO um, based base in, uh, in, and more uh, NATO troops on the ground? Yes. Well, we're here with our ambassador, and that's an ongoing conversation about how uh, we support global security working together. Uh, Poland is mo most um, uh, active uh, defender of Ukraine today in the European sphere and uh, Poland is asking for more sanctions specifically as well as uh, seizing the assets uh, for of uh, Russian assets in European Union. Is the United States supporting that uh, the Poland, Poland push for that? We have uh, passed legislation this week in the Congress of the United States under the auspices of our members here, Mr. Meeks, Mr. Chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee uh, to seize and freeze the assets and to use those assets uh, to rebuild Ukraine and to help the people of Ukraine. Do you think that European Union uh, should do a similar act? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Uh, about the, <laughs> as well as uh, you, um, you mentioned um, uh, yesterday about the bully and Russia as a bully, yeah, uh, yes, uh, could you uh, re <clears throat> re re reiterate that? That was in response to a question that says, if you go, if you do this, well, they may do that. Well, I don't think we, I think they have done enough to justify uh, the strongest possible uh, military response, uh, the strongest sanctions to, uh, uh, to make the case uh, that this is not tolerable. And again, all the humanitarian economic assistance that we need to put there. And we shouldn't do anything less because of a threat from Russia. They have already delivered on their threat. They've killed children and families, uh, civilians and the rest. And uh, 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 as I said yesterday, we don't respond to a bully. Any of my colleagues want to say and something? Maybe one to question. Our, according, our to, question. Uh, according to your visit in Ukraine, this ex experience, this information which were collected, is it helpful to take some uh, further steps to make some decisions to help Ukrainian people? Yes, it is always helpful. We come here deeply inspired, further informed, uh, and uh, to meet the immediate need we have, which we are writing the bill under the auspices of Congresswoman Lee and her Committee of Appropriations. Uh, so it's always important to see how you prioritize. And are in our meeting with President Zelensky and our president and the president of Poland today, uh, President Duda today, we uh, were further informed. It was helpful. Thank okay, you. thank you everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you all very much. Thank, thank you. Yeah, we, we, our ambassador has said the person of the year should be, why don't you say, Mr. Ambassador? Thank you, Madam Speaker, and thank you so much for your visit and the visit of the entire delegation. But well, I have said to the President, the generosity and the example that the Polish people have demonstrated to the world is not only personal, it's historic in its scope. Yes. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you, everyone.